IRAD is going to measure the details of the wind field within the main vortex of the hurricane. Uh, by measuring those details down to a resolution of about two kilometers, uh, we can provide the data to the computer models that would predict the wind development in the next day or two. And uh, the detailed wind development, of course, is really important in determining things like a storm surge, uh, the flooding that might occur as the, the hurricane uh, makes landfall. So we'll stay with this is the harness that we wear when we fly as well. Um, it's the mission, as we said, seven hours can be a long time, so we can fly water or Gatorade or whatever you'd like. And there's a straw hole in the helmet. We can also fly some tube food. This is peaches, <laughs> packaged in 2008. Only the best for our flight crew. We would hope so. We would hope that uh, HIRAD proves itself well enough that it becomes operational and, um, and that it actually does uh, that improved uh, yeah, warnings implement uh, evacuation procedures and so forth. There's a lot of uh, a lot at stake in terms of the cost of evacuation and then the credibility of the forecasts. You know, if people are told to evacuate a number of times and nothing happens, then the credibility is poor and then people may not do it next time. So we want those forecasts to be as good as possible and for people to be able to trust them.